Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ from the world headquarters of the United Pentecostal Church International in St. Louis, Missouri, USA. I'm taking this opportunity to address the district board members of our 57 districts in the United States and Canada. I want to talk to you for a few moments about the Strategic Growth Initiative. I want to emphasize that this is a district plan. It's not a headquarters plan, but it's something that the district superintendents voted uh, to accomplish. And each district is developing its own plan. The goal is for each district to have a conversation, an ongoing discussion, an evaluation process of setting goals, uh, a process that each minister can participate in, and particularly the district board, the district leadership team, and the district North American missions team should work together to plan a strategy that's unique and suitable for your district. Now, let me tell you the background. As you may know, I was raised overseas in Korea. My parents were pioneer missionaries of the UPCI. Uh, and then uh, in our own ministry, my wife and I started a church in Austin, Texas. We pastored there for 18 years, and we started 16 churches out of that original church. So all my life, I've been involved in church planting, growth, missions, revival. Uh, this is what I believe, this is what I've lived. Uh, when I was elected as a presbyter, we had 30 churches, and in seven years, we were able to grow to 53 churches in Daughter Works. Uh, then I was asked to be the district superintendent of the new South Texas district. We started with 160 churches in Daughter Works, and in seven years, we grew to 242. So when I was elected as general superintendent, I felt that we could see the same type of growth in each district of North America. Of course, a number of districts, such as Wisconsin, were already on a growth track. Uh, but over the years, I've tried to talk about growth, transforming our thinking and our culture from maintenance mode to growth mode. And several years ago, the general board, in the process of our discussion, our training, our evaluation, asked that we appoint a, a strategic growth committee. That committee reported in September of 2017. And when they did, uh, they advised or they recommended that every district would develop its own plan based on certain elements. And as the presentation went forward, there was a powerful move of God. Some board members that had been on the board for many years and were now honorary members said they had never seen anything like it on the general board. God spoke to us through prophecy, through tongues interpretation. There was an extended time of worship and prayer. God gave us this message that He was giving us a divine shift. And then we were challenged to believe God for more than a million constituents in North America. And then finally, the word came prophetically, the time is now. And so from that time till this time, we've been working on the strategic growth plan. So let me briefly explain. Every district has now participated, but obviously this is only preliminary. Uh, the, the plans need to ex be expanded, need to be implemented, and, and most of all, we need to act. But each plan should have four elements. The first element is ministers, to multiply the number of ministers. We can't call people to preach, but we can create an environment where our young people feel the burden and see the need and are sensitive to God's call. We can have tracks where people can get involved in various soul winning and ministry activities. Um, and then we can provide training. So it is possible to intentionally increase the number of credentialed ministers at every level, from local to general to ordination. The second element is works, to multiply the number of new works. That would include preaching points, daughter works, uh, church plants, uh, churches in metro areas, multicultural works, um, even finding independent apostolic works and helping them assimilate into the UPCI. And of course, the North American Missions team is focused on this process, but it needs to be a project of the whole district. In other words, every presbyter needs to take responsibility for growth in his section to partner with the district superintendent, the district and sectional North American Missions director to see it come to pass. The third element is growth, not only planting new works, but growing our existing works. What is our strategy for helping churches of 50 grow to 100? 
for helping churches of 100 to break the 100 barrier? How can we bring resources, encouragement, practical tools, and inspiration to every church in our district? And then the fourth element is strength. At any given time, there are a number of pastors or churches that are going through transition, going through struggles, facing unusual challenges, and sometimes churches close down. What can we do to reduce the number of closures? Um, what can we do to come alongside and partner with a church that doesn't have a pastor or a church that has declined to just a few members or a, a pastor who, due to age and health, needs to retire but uh, doesn't know what to do for a transition plan? The district can come alongside while respecting the self-governance of each local church but yet have plans. Some churches can become daughter works again or come under the oversight of a larger church. That's up to each district to decide the strategy. But each of these four elements is crucial. So I'm appealing to each district board member, first of all to the district superintendent to cast vision and to set the plan in motion, and then to each board member and especially each presbyter, take the challenge, uh, support the vision of your district superintendent and of your district North American missions director. Uh, and come alongside as a team to change the conversation from maintaining, from solving problems, to dealing with issues. Obviously, these things have to be done. But to focus more and more on, of our time on how can we grow the district in every dimension. One thing that the General Board also decided is to have a standing strategic growth committee. Brother Jack Cunningham is the chairman, Brother Nathan Scoggins is the secretary, and their job is to receive the plans, to evaluate them, to provide input, suggestions, and resources. So they've assimilated a team of people who specialize in various areas such as uh, evangelism, crusades, uh, home Bible studies, every facet of church planting and church growth. And so we have our North American missions team, we have the strategic growth committee, and we're committed to helping you as a district board member grow your district. And so I'm asking you today, please accept the challenge. I believe the next few years could see the greatest growth that we've ever had in the history of the United Pentecostal Church International. Truly, the time is now.